In this video, I'm going to show you how to eject one of these style components in Mapbox Studio to give you a little more control over one of your layers. We're going to build this map here that shows uh, capital cities only. So we'll start in Mapbox Studio, click New Style, Basic, and Customize. So here's our map. We're going to do a couple of things with components first before we eject one. So with components, I'm clicking on this city label and I see I have really easy access to this typography panel. So this element, I'm going to increase the font size and change the typeface to this uh, caveat font. And then I'm also going to click on this city label and see that I have easy access to a color palette. So I can change all the place labels in one fell swoop to this um, kind of silly pink color. So now that that's done, how do we show capital cities only? This thing here, I'm going to say, is not a capital city because it's a point of interest. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of this entire component. And next, I see some of these subdivision labels. I'm going to click on one, and it tells me in this area of the map, the components contributing to this area are land and water and place labels. I'm going to click on the Place Labels component to see what options are available. So in this component, I can see that I have a couple of options around what to show and how it appears. I'm going to turn off this Settlement Subdivisions, and that brings us even closer. Now I see we have all major cities and all minor cities. So how do we filter this if we don't have the options in the component? Well. I'm going to click More Options and view the actual layers that make up this Place Labels component. And this will switch us to the Layers view. So here's View Layers. And now I can see the four layers that make up that component. And I can also see in the Style panel, all of these elements appear to be locked. And I can override them individually. But I'm not trying to change the style. I'm actually trying to change the data that goes into making these things appear. So countries are fine, states are fine, major labels, that's what I want to edit. And minor labels, actually, I'm going to hide. We're a little bit closer to capital cities only. Now in major label, let's see what we can do to actually filter the data. I switch to the data panel, and I'm looking at the filter option. And here it says, filter set by component and I must eject the component to edit. So I'll do that. We'll go from layers to components and place labels. I'm going to click more options and eject. And here I'll give it permission to eject these four layers. If I make a mistake, I can actually undo and go back. But I did that on purpose. I would really like to eject the four layers in this component. So here in the layers view, I now can click on this layer that's controlling the cities, I can select the data, click filter, and I can see that this layer has a few filters already applied. I'm going to add a condition because I want to show capitals of a certain size. And here I see everything is red and I'm only showing Paris. So what I'm thinking is some of these filters that came through with the style are now uh, redundant or conflicting with the filter that I just created. And so I'm just going to delete the old filters. This one is all about zoom level and what appears. I don't need it. I don't want it. If the class is a settlement and capital and size are applicable, then I think these are the criteria that will help me achieve my goal. I see Paris here, and I see a number of other capitals, and even some capitals in neighboring countries. I think my data filter is correct. I'm going back to style. And indeed, the data is correct. We're showing capital cities only. And so the last thing I'll show is, let's say we want country labels to be a different color. Now we're, we no longer have access to the component, and so the only way we're able to control the font and color and size of the country label is through the Layers panel. Components, yep, our component is no longer there. We only can use the labels. 
So under country, I'm going to change the color to blue, like in our example. And if I want to change the font or the size, I now have to deal with much more complexity. So before you eject a layer, I would recommend doing all the styling beforehand. So now you know how to eject a style component in Mapbox Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep building.